Hello and good morning Bricks fans. Today a nice quick one. Um, I was watching this video here from uh, Kevin Powell um, explaining three grid layout solutions, very simple solutions. If you're not subscribed to Kevin Powell, you should be. Um, you gain a lot of nice little snippets on CSS. He's an absolute guru and presents really well. So absolutely recommend this guy. Anyway, moving on. So he did this video on these simple CSS layout uh, solutions with grid. The one I want to talk about today is this age old issue where you have a header, you've got a body content, and then you've got a footer. And if your body content is not long enough or big enough, then your footer sits up underneath that content instead of sticking to the bottom. And this grid solution is to solve that problem. If we just fast forward here, so here we go. So basically he's using a grid to get to a point where you've got your header at the top, your body, and then your footer right at the very, very bottom here. And it uses a very simple uh, layout, which is this over on the left hand side here, setting your main layout to a grid, setting your template rows to the top, which is your header is auto, one frame or one fraction is the uh, copy, copy, in the bottom. Co copy in the middle, and auto is the footer at the bottom. Works absolutely beautifully except for we can't do this in bricks. Let me show you why. So in bricks, if we have a look here, what we have this off is if we look at the uh, inspector for the body, what we have is the body. We then have two links, which is the skip links for the header and the footer. We then have the header, main and footer. What we would need is to not have these two links. Otherwise, the grid solution won't work because these would be counted as elements. So it would be the first element, second element, third element, etc. So we want these for accessibility. So the only way we could do this is by changing our structure to wrap our uh, header, uh, main and footer into another div. Uh, which we don't need to do. So this video, I'm going to show you why we don't need to do that. And if we look at the body for a typical bricks uh, template, so we have a look here. We've got this class here, bricks body or BRX body. We set to flex column and the width of 100%. Now, what we want to do is set that to be 100% of the screen, or 100 of the height of the screen, uh, because the footer. If we look at the footer. The footer is already set with a margin top of auto. And this is standard bricks CSS. So if we make the height of that entire body a minimum of the view height, uh, the margin auto on that footer is going to push it to the bottom. So all we have to do is go to the body. And we just have to set that to a height or minimum height of 100 VH. And that pushes our uh, footer to the bottom. Now, the reason it's going to be on the bottom is because I've got the admin bar up here. When the admin bar is not there, this works absolutely perfectly. So that's all we have to do. Now, there is a new uh, measure. So I'm going to put that in there. Min height of 100 dVh. And the difference between 100 VH and 100 dVh DVH is dynamic view height. So it takes into account your actual viewport. It's a new unit, which is not supported by all browsers. So you actually want to have both of these in that order to get that working. So if I talk this here, all I've done is a code block where I've got my bricks body. I've just set the min height to 100 VH and 100 DVH. If I save that and have a look at my content live, Follow five, my foot is at the bottom. If I look at a incognito window, so I don't have my admin bar. And there's my footer sitting nicely at the bottom with no scroll bar. So let's add a bunch of content to that. I'm going to grab some Bob Ross. Remove some. Let's maybe create, say, 10 paragraphs. Copy all of it.
Okay, so we've got a nice long copy. We might need to duplicate that. So we've got lots of copy. I head back to my um, incognito window. So at the moment, we've just got a short amount of content and the height of that is set to a minimum height of the 100 of the view height. Uh, and the footer is margin top order, which pushes it to the bottom. We're doing F5 on that. We can see that it still sticks to the bottom, even though we've got lots of content. So very, very simple. All we need is that one rule, change the min height to 100 view height and 100 dvh, and that's it. So I hope you enjoy that, and if you like this, hit the subscribe, hit the like. Thank you.